Bangalore. Once Bangalore contributes more to the legislators going to the assembly, we have 228 people in the assembly. Bangalore has 28. Our population is about 30 percent of Karnataka, and uh, we got only about 12 or 13 percent. So when the delimitation happened, the census happened, hopefully delimitation, then I think we'll get more people inside. Then I think they will respond to us because the entire urban population of Karnataka will be represented in our legislation. Less later, there will be more focus on uh, the urban areas. Now, when India also goes through that, the urban share will go up dramatically. And the urban share goes up dramatically, those political leaders will respond to the electorate. Because, you know, politicians respond to the electorate. Democracy is a system of quantitative lobbies. Now, Bangalore doesn't have a big lobby. We talk a lot, they listen to us, they're very kind to us, give us tea, coffee, we go on TV, criticize them, they call us and say, oh, come and meet me, what happened? But nothing happens to the ground, as slowly. We are 15 years behind. So when the political landscape changes, you have to get elected, they will respond. India too will be, uh, after the next delimitation, much more urban-centric, because more people are living in urban area, they're not getting it. You see what happened to Bombay. Because you know Bombay is getting transformed. You see what happened to Delhi, 400 kilometers of metro, and the central government has created all those big, big roads all over, and quality of life because central government has improved. But you know, we have a problem. So I think hopefully they still live in hope, like you said, the city of hope.